Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to take a look at the new MacBook Air 13-inch with the M3. Now, this is the 16-gigabyte model with the 512 hard drive. And uh, what I want to see is we have a little unboxing, and then we're going to go straight into editing some 8K video. Now, here was a surprise is I test a lot of these, and you can see it's got that new type of plug, uh, which is kind of cool, very compact. And uh, you can get this in the 13 inch and the 15 inch. And you can see here, it's the 16 gigabyte model with the M3 chip. And this is brand new for 2024, March of 2024. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some video and we're gonna scrub around with the video. And this is 8K video. And you can see I have it at better quality because when you hit the playback and when you're in better performance, it does uh, reduce, that's like a 720p image. But here we can see it in uh, all its glory and you can see it plays back that full screen real nice. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I think I'm gonna do some crop-ins because actually the crop-ins are probably the most taxing, especially the 8K. Uh, and I can tell you from testing the M1 and the M2, uh, non-pro models, they struggled uh, with what I'm about to do here. So let's see uh, if you can do it because it would just be choppy and everything else. And another thing you wanna be aware of is we are running QuickTime recording in the background here. So it's kind of nice because it's playing it back very smoothly. And I would think, you know, that is uh, a little bit taxing on the system. But you can see here now, I didn't even render it yet. And as you can see, it's playing it back very well. So let's go full screen. And remember, until this is really rendered, it's not going to be 100% smooth, but it's doing a great job here. So I would say it passed that test pretty good. And... I think our next, what, I'll let it render now. So I just stopped and you can see it renders pretty quickly. I would say it's on par. Maybe it's a tad slower than the M3 Pro chip, you know, out of a base model uh, MacBook Pro, but it's still doing really good. Now, where it would struggle is if we only had the eight gigabytes of RAM, but the 16 gigabytes of RAM does help quite a bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and do another Ken Burns here. And I'm gonna crop into about 200%. It's really great when you're working with these 8K images because you can crop in at 200% and you're still at 4K. So you got a lot, you know, a lot of people say, hey, you don't need 8K. Well. You know, if you want to recompose your shots, and also I think that the 8K uh, just has a really lovely image. And this is out of the, uh, this is the A7, uh, A7R5, which shoots 8K. And I think it produces really nice images. So you can see there, that is super smooth. And, you know, as I pause a little bit, you know, it hasn't even, I haven't even given it a chance to render yet and it's still doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to this next clip and I'm gonna start off on the billboard. Then after that, I'll let it, I'll let it render. But I wanna see if I was just kind of working with the clips and you know, when you mess with this with the M1, even in 4K, not 8K timeline, you would be um, waiting for it to render. It would just be very choppy. And you can see here, it's smooth as butter doing a very good job. And it's playing that clip again, and then we'll go straight into the billboard. But yeah, it's doing really good. This is about the same results as you get out of the Pro Chip. And like I said, maybe it, the render is slightly faster. You're saving a lot of money here. That looks pretty good. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to let it render. So let's see what happens. That's two clips. 
That's pretty fast. The key here to making this really work is the, uh, the M3 chip with the 16 gigabytes of RAM and then the 512 on the hard drive because you are getting, um, instead of one chip, one memory chip uh, that you would have in the 256, here you have two 256s and it makes it fa it's faster. Okay, that looks pretty good. This one I already did. Another 200% crop. Now this one here, uh, let me see what I'm going to do with this one if it needs anything. Now here's an interesting thing. Uh, let's see how this one goes. All right, you see that right when we went past that light pole, there's a little bit of rolling shutter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, and this is really slow, especially in 8K, when you go and you use the, you know, to fix the rolling shutter here, it takes a long time. And look how fast that's moving. It's a short clip, but it is pretty fast. All right, so let's see if it took care of that warping pole. I see it cropped in to ever so slightly, which is fine because we have 8K, so it can crop in. And let's see that next shot. Let's see how it came out. Bus. All right, here comes the Corvette. Yep, it's nice and straight. So that fixed that. Excellent. So that worked out really well. The scrubbing is good. Yep. I would say, well, definitely if you're working with 4K, you're not going to have any problem. But um, these clips uh, are great tests because out of the uh, A7, uh, A7, A7, the, uh, the R5, uh, Sony, it um, Apple computers struggle with these clips. So this um, this is doing just fine. You would be just fine working with the 8K uh, with this setup. And the screen is really nice too. That's working really good. And you know, we are just working with the, um, you know, no proxy files. We're working with the actual clips in the timeline. I just threw them in there. And also when I threw the clips in, it loaded them in pretty fast. So the next test we're gonna do is, I wanna see how fast it exports everything. And I just want to see the display with the playback a little bit more. But it seems real good. And you have to remember, too, as I said earlier, is, you know, I have the QuickTime running in the background recording the screen. So that's taking up resources. So I would say this setup is really nice. So let it finish... Oh, so it was, um, see, because I saw it ever so slightly stuttering, so it, it did need a few more renders. So we'll take a look at it after it finishes. Uh, but those renders are really quick. Okay. Let's see how that one looks now. Let's go full screen. It's a beautiful image. And it looks really great on this, um, this screen. is a really nice screen on this uh, MacBook Air. Yeah, see, it's even a little bit smoother now. Amazing, that uh, rolling shutter fix. 
that took that warp out of that pole. Yeah, seems good. Let's go ahead and play this a little bit. Now, this one here, this was a 8K out of the uh, that new uh, Insta360, uh, that 8K um, GoPro that they have. And nice image out of that. All right. Yeah, smooth as butter. Very nice. So yeah, I would say it passes the test for 8K. Um, you know, the other Apple computers would just struggle with this and it's doing really well. It's so great now that you can edit, uh, you know, in real time with the clips without transferring anything, you know, like editing proxy files. You're just adding a bunch of steps and you can see everything. And especially when you're doing these crop-ins, you can, can really kind of see what you're going to get. But um, yeah, no, it looks good. This is a very nice setup. So the key to this is, um, like I said, having the at least 512 to one terabyte of storage, uh, which is giving you those the extra memory chips, which makes the whole system faster. And then this one uh, has the uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So this is the highest end standard model that you can get. And then from here, if you get it from Apple, you can go ahead and custom order. So if you want a slightly bigger hard drive, and these are considerably cheaper than the uh, MacBook Pro. So you are losing a few features, but let's see how fast um, it'll export. And you can see here we're exporting an 8K clip in Apple Pro Res. And I am timing it. And I'll tell you what it is when it finishes. And even for a, you know, a clip that's a little under two minutes, this is a very fast uh, export. Looks like it's going to come in a little over 40 seconds. 45 seconds. Not bad. Looks great. So let's take a look at the laptop and listen to it. So on the right side of the laptop, you have a headphone jack. And on the left side of the laptop, you have the charging port, the MagSafe, and you also have two USB-C ports. I hope you enjoy this video and have a wonderful day.